Okay, I'll show you how to underworld a 2080 Ti or a RTX card. First, you click on that, and this thing opens up. You click on that, and you test scan. And once it finishes, you click apply, and you save it to a profile. And then you close this, and then you can set your memory clock say 1000 megahertz and save it then delete that and save it again okay and make sure you increase the power limit as well then when you when you start at the OC scanner it gives you a curve it will be different for your card so it will sh so for example if this is the curve that you got it means that at 1043 millivolts it can run at 1995 megahertz and that will be a stable clock if you got it through your OC scanner and when you want to underworld it you can select your desired clock speed so I want 20 55 and I want it and my card can run it at 1.03 on volts so I'll select my voltage and I need to make this curve flat from this point so it so the when it boosts it won't go over this so you just click on these and you just drop these down to wait that's not it um, so you, if this is at 2055 yeah so you change that to 2055 it's a long lengthy process but that's how you do it all of those go to 2055 And make sure you click apply every time you change these. There you go. And you have a flat line. And when you start a game, the clock will hover around here. And that will be 1031 millivolts and 2055 megahertz. But the thing is, if the clock speeds change even if you undervolt it based on your temperature so if your card goes above a certain threshold say 50 degrees it might drop down to say the next lower clock so that would be 2010 so you might want to set that to the one below your 2055 megahertz or your desired clock speed and you might want to select the third third point from your desired clock speed and raise it by 15 so that one will be 2070 and click apply so that should be it 2070 yep so what happens is when you start a game it, go, it will boost to this point and that will be 2070 megahertz and as the temperature climbs your voltage sorry your clock speed will drop down and it will hover around 2055 or sometimes if the card heats up even more it might drop down to say this clock speed which is 2010 but should be 2040 let me change that hmm well it's not working here but that's the point of doing this and hmm yeah so you basically want to do this otherwise if you if your desired clock speed is 2055 
and you set the whole thing to 2055, what happens is when the card heats up, it starts starts from 2055, and as it heats up, the boost clock will start to drop. To prevent that, we do this and set it to the next step, which is plus 15 megahertz, and that gives us 2070. Apply. Delete this. Save it. Save it. Apply. And lock it down. And every time your Windows loads up, that profile should load as well. Well, that's it. Easy.